All right, so here's a little video of my uh, new A123 20 amp hour pouch cell tester that I built. Uh, running off the Power Lab 6 uh, charger discharger. And uh, this will be hooked up to the computer through the serial interface. Um, and then uh, right now, just for playing around, it's powered by uh, two 7 amp hour uh, lead acid batteries wired in series. Um, I got a big, uh, 45 amp hour headway pack that I'll be using, um, 12 volt headway pack. Um, so here's the unit, and, uh, easy in out of the cells, nothing to connect, same thing every time, and, uh, it's got two copper bus bars underneath there, and then some little spring terminals, if I get a focus on that. There they are, that contact the cell and uh, make contact. So the big copper bus bar pieces are uh, they're from a 100 amp lighting contactor. And I just got those wired into some uh, number four welding wire down to these uh, uh, banana jacks that I got from Radio Shack and uh, that I uh, soldered them onto the ends of it and that's some huge shrink. So the, uh, the little spring terminals connect into the two sense leads and then uh, so they're separate from the high current terminals. So if you uh, just pull this lever and see it'll lift up like that and then uh, you can stick your fingers in here and there's the cell. Pull the cell out of there. This is one I got from my buddy Wayne, and uh, he was nice enough to give me to do some testing with. So there's the uh, the plate there. Let me put this up here. There's the little plate, and that's a three ounce copper circuit board, and uh, it's soldered onto that steel bar down the bottom there, and then little isolation tracks that I cut into it with a table saw. You can see one there, one, there's another one, and the fourth one. And then the little spring terminals. I can't really get in there. You can see. There it is. And then the, uh, the copper bus bars I honed on some uh, some sandpaper and a flat surface. And uh, that's, that's the mechanism there. And uh, just like that, so it clamps down there nice and tight, and then uh, you just pull it to release it. Take your cell, slip it all the way back in there. There it is. Let it go. We made contact, and then. Normally you do a one cycle, but I'm just going to do a, a discharge, regen discharge, checking it out, confirm, set to 40 amps, and it'll come up in a second. There we go. Uh, that's where it hovers, about 39.9, somewhere in that area. 2C on the cell, testing the capacity. And uh, like I said before, this will be attached to the computer, monitoring it all. And I'll do that for all the cells in my pack. So I just got to uh, clean up these leads. I'm going to chop some of this extra off here, shorten them up down to the bus bars. And, uh, It'll be all set, and uh, we'll mount the cell pro on here, all nice, so it's a nice little contained unit. I can uh, fit it in this little case I got here, and uh, have a portable cell tester. I can, uh, you know, carry it off with me to work a day, grab a box of cells, and uh, just see how many I can get done a day, you know, one after another. It doesn't need any attention, so that's my plan.